What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sayushi, and today I wanted to show you guys something I'm very, very excited to talk about, which is the multiplayer mod for Elden Ring on PC. And this mod is a game changer, like completely changes the game to, in my opinion, what the online multiplayer needed to be in the first place. Will this mod end up getting you banned? The answer is no, because the mod will actually prevent you from connecting to the From Software matchmaking servers, and it actually uses different save files from a vanilla experience. Another thing too that I gotta let you guys know about right off the bat is that you do have to have a legitimate copy of Elden Ring in order to end up using this mod. So what we're gonna be focusing on today is I'm gonna kind of explain a few differences of what this mod ends up doing to your gameplay experience uh, before we end up explaining how you can end up actually installing it and how it's going to end up working in game. The short answer is that the mod does exactly what it says in the title, which is seamless co-op. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if one player dies in the world, it doesn't kick you out of co-op immediately. You can have two people end up co-oping an Everghoul boss. You can end up killing a boss in co-op without it kicking the other player out of the world. You can also end up fast traveling out of the dungeon. You can also finally just be messing around in the open world in co-op and seamlessly walk into a cave or a catacomb without dealing with any invisible barriers. And also because of the fact that when a boss gets killed, it doesn't actually kick you out of co-op, it means even if you end up killing Godric, you could continue to explore Stormvale Castle, which is awesome. These features alone were already insane, but this guy went above and beyond because you can end up actually using your mount, Torrent. You'll also end up unlocking all of the Sites of Grace together. You can fast travel, you can rest at the Site of Grace. Game progression in general will also end up completing for your own world. So if you're in a co-op world and you both end up fighting Godric and then you go back to your world, Godric's still dead. Now for a couple technical quality of life uh, improvements. So the mod doesn't actually use anti-cheat which means that your frame rate should be a little bit more stable. It also means that you can end up actually using other mods in combination with this one. Uh, but of course, everybody that's in your party is going to end up having to have the mods installed. And also because it's not using anti-cheat, you're not going to end up having the random disconnects that plague the PC version of this game. Obviously, this is going to end up making the game a little bit easier, especially with the fact that you can actually have four co-op people, including the host versus normally you could only end up having three people in total. So the modder has compensated for this by making a third tier of enemy scaling. The more people you have in the world, the harder the enemies end up getting. If you die during a boss fight, you'll actually spectate the other players. So if they can clutch it out, you'll actually all end up claiming the victory. Dying pretty much acts the exact same as you would expect, where you still got to go and gather your runes or your souls. But he's added a rot debuff that will end up slowly stacking and becoming worse and worse and worse the more you end up dying. However, you can just get rid of this debuff by just resting it a site of grace essentially all it does is just lowers your stats oh and also because you're not actually going to be on fromsoft servers it means that you can no longer get invaded which is awesome now that the pvp meta is just so broken that doesn't mean that you can't fight other people though you can still end up toggling pvp on or at least the host can and anyways let's get into the installation so I'll put a link in the description to the mod itself and where you can end up getting it, but essentially you can end up downloading it uh, from the Nexus mod website. So once you end up downloading the zip, you're just going to end up extracting those files into the Steam Steam Apps common Elden Ring game folder. A super easy way you can end up getting to this Steam folder is just by right clicking Elden Ring, hovering over manage and go to browse local files. That'll take you right to the Elden Ring folder where you end up going into the game folder and then just put the seamless co-op folder in here as well as the seamless co-op launcher. Now, before you end up playing with your friends, you're gonna to wanna to actually open the seamless co-op folder and then the co-op password.ini. And essentially this password is going to be the bread and butter to you playing with your buddies because whoever you have co-oping with you is going to have to have the exact same password that you do. You also have to be careful not to just have like one, two, three, four, five as your password or something that's really easy to guess because it means that you will run the risk of having a random person join your game. And because easy cheat is disabled, it means that you can very easily be the victim of hackers. But anyway, so long as you and your cooperator have the same password, all you gotta do is just launch the game with the seamless co-op launcher. Then just go through the tutorial, grab the furl finger and you can use a tiny great pot to host a session the effigy of melania to join a session separation mist to exit a co-op and judicator's rulebook to toggle pvp on for all players currently in your world 